playing reggae like you've never heard before. This is Vibes Radio. And yeah, man, we are stirring it up here on Season Circle Vibes Radio. We have the honor of having Ras Mau Mau here. Greetings, Rasta. Hey, yes, yes. Rastafari. Kurugoju. Yeah, man. <laughs> and you know what? We are also joined by amazing youth man. Wagwan Rasta. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, what's your name? Can you tell us your name? My name is Kemadi Wainai Nambogwa. Okay, so we have a Kimathi, guys, and that's uh, Ras Mau Mau Youth. And yes, Ras Mau Mau, me, I know you as Ras Mau Mau. I've been seeing you a long time, Maasai Market, when I was young, 14, <laughs> 15, I think, 13. Nikikuja Market, Kutafta, some Rasta things and everything. And it's such an honor to have you here today because I know you're in the movement for a long time. And um, I only know you as Ras Mau Mau, but you have enough titles. Maybe you can tell us some of them. Yes, I am. I and I is Ras Mau Mau. They call me so. Yes, I. And uh, some some people have put uh, my my vibe into one name called Radhi Maudai. Okay. Meaning Radhi it means Raz is a king, and Mao is my Mao soldier, and Dai is my spirituality from the roots of Mao Mao. Wow, I love See, it. It's Raz, yeah. Rastafari. Yeah. And um, you named uh, your youth man. Um, Kimathi. I named it Kimathi because uh, I've been fighting for recognition of Mau Mau. Yes, I. I came to read the constitution of Kenya back in, in the 80s. Yes, and I. They, I saw that Mau Mau was put as an illegal society dangerous to the people of Kenya. Yet, my fathers had told me different. Yes, I. My forefather, my grandfather, he was called Karori. Uh, yeah, man. He's the one that I've called him and I've baptized him Kemadi. Okay. So because of that, I came to to, to want to know how, why, what's wrong with the government putting things the wrong way in the constitution. Yes, Yet Mau Mau is the liberation of our Of nation. the people, yeah, man. It's the foundation of all the wealth they have and yes, the politics they are doing. is the foundation. It's the Mau Mau. True. And uh, also, I wanted to say my other title. Yes, I. Oh, I'm the former chairman of uh, Masai Market. Okay. I've, I ran as a chairman for three years. Yeah, man. I just le left it at December. Okay. For and how many years? You've been working there for a while. I've been working there from 1990. That's when I saw you the first 19, time. Yeah, yeah. Man. Um, also by King David, we used to yeah, be there yeah. by the Globe uh, roundabout, roundabout when we used to sit on up road. Slip Road. <laughs> Amazing vibes. For me, that's where I used to come to just see some Rasta. You know, at that time, where you're going to find the Rasta, you know, for yeah. a youth like me. So I used to come there. So you just left uh, mm. currently not doing Maasai Market anymore? I'm still there. Okay, okay. But not uh, the chairman. Uh, I'm not the chairman. I just... Uh, I uh, give somebody else <laughs> because uh, it's a headache and I have more work to do. You know? Yeah, I feel I'm also you. the chairman of uh, Zingaro Percussion that okay. has been doing bingy music uh, when the icons come from Jamaica. Yeah, man. They meet us and we celebrate with them and we welcome At them. At the airport. At the airport. Yeah, yeah man, All yeah. this vibe, you know, I, I, trying to vibrate the Mau Mau and Rastafari together. Yes, sir. You see Vibes Nation. Muki watch watch your TV. Sju Kepleton and Mefika Sju Nani. Ras Mau Mau and the yeah. Percussion them. Everybody's uh -huh. there, so... And we're here with him today. If you have any questions, also you can head on to our socials. And on Wagwan, we're going to give you a chance to call him in. Now, we're going to be discussing the connection of Mau Mau and Rastafari. And yes, I want to just say give thanks again, Ras Mau Mau, for coming. And um, as we were speaking, you were telling me that you are also the chairman of the Rastafari Society of Kenya. Seen. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about what the Rastafari community does. The Rastafari Society of Kenya? Yeah came up as a as an urgent thing because of long time uh, we don't see the unity of different houses of rasta yes i and yet the vibes of rasta is unity the vibes of rasta is africa unite before we unite the people we have to unite all rasta together for our conscious vibe so that we can teach the people the true vibes of rastafari yes i because we have the bob we have the bingi we have the 12 tribes we have uh, Ethiopian World Federation. And right here in Kenya is a source of the consciousness called Mau Mau yeah. that brought about liberation of the land and the conscious minds of Africa and all over the diaspora. Yes, yeah, man. So we are the people who have the banner to say what we really had as a vision, of the Mau Mau vision that uh, came, uh, went down to Jamaica inspired them more to to release even reggae yes this vibe is very crucial because uh, 
it it it, it encompasses the whole world now the whole world now is in reggae yeah man and uh, rastafari society of kenya we want to make our own vibes we want our economics <laughs> We want to make our own school because our children have been going to other schools and they, they don't been, even allow them to have dreadlock yeah, and thing yeah. yes I've been fighting so hard from 1990 wow to have my children go to school at di- or for the, in different uh, schools and it was a yeah, negative man. and and I remember when you're talking about that I remember King uh, King David as well there's a time yeah? yeah the youths because he was one of the first people I saw with the with the family all rasta and everything mm. and he never used to send the youths to the regular school because he yes. wanted them to be dread and you know what they did mm. there's a time I don't know if you remember us mau mau them uh, put him in all over the vid- uh, TV, the TV and news and say rasta man attack kupeleka totoa yeah. ke shule sijui nini and there was a big mess up about it and also my sister makeda the recent case where they didn't mm. want her to go back to olympic because of her hair so rasta has been fighting this war for a long time and me overstand and talking about youth me youth man kimathi there what do you have to say to the young people kwanza si just care sauti yako bado vizuri what do you have to tell the young people the youths who want to follow in rastafari <laughs> What what when you can nyole? Yes. Wana fukuzango shule. Yeah. Wana kataliwa. Yeah. Kama sister yangu manye. Alikuwa menda secondary lakini alikataliwa na na nyole. Okay. Lakini wewe unapenda nyole zako? Unapenda kwa Rasta? Eh. Yeah. Okay. Or what do you ni kitu gani unapenda kwenye Rasta fare? Ni kitu gani umelearn? Umejifunza? Come on. Usio gope. We are all rasta like you here. Usio gope. In a safe place. This is a safe place for you to talk. Ile life tunaishi. Yeah man, sema. Conscious uh, Ital. Yeah man. Kwa nini? Yeah. Uh, Tuambie ni kitu gani kwenye Rastafari? Unakaa na watoi wengine, si ndio? Yeah. Unaona difference. Unaona mimi ni youth man mrasta na huyu ni youth tu kaida. Wewe unaweza sema to- tofauti ni nini? Tofauti ni <coughs> kama uko na dread eh mimi niko na dread okay na kitu kingine design ya chakula chakula na kula kama ndo mango ase <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, umekuwa ra- uko na rasta miaka ngapi sasa hii kutoka uweke dread Hey, fire. Wasemu <laughs> naona these are the next generation of rasta that we need, you know. And uh, jina yako unajua pali imetoka? Eh. Where does it come from? Inatoka wapi your mighty name Kimathi? Imetoka kwa Kimathi mwenyewe tupigania. Yeah man, yeah man. And I think this is very important trust Mao Mao how you teaching the youth, you know, from early because yeah. it's not easy right now especially here in Kenya to have youths in turban and dreadlock and as you said going to school um what do you think about now what jamaica think about mau mau what how do they vision because i was telling sheriff i was in ethiopia in the headquarters united nation 2005 was early kwa wanaji introduced there was youths from all over africa and um everybody was saying you know south africa home of nelson mandela watu walikuwa na toa majina majina now me i was sitting there na me i was the only dread youth and the whole arrest everybody wana ngoja tani yangu nitasema nini you know so i was nervous and i was sitting there and then it just came to me you know i'm nazizi i come from kenya home of jomo kinyata and the mau mau place your tail fire walipo yeah. skema mau paka was shocked i was like oh huh, okay so can you tell me what is it what is it about mau mau in rastafari mau mau i can tell you is fire <laughs> yes sir it's I. not water mm. because mau mau is a consciousness that bound the whole of Africa into the uh, military combat. Yes, I. We threw away the spear and the arrow. We took the gun because uh, we can't fight with one with superior thing. Yeah, man. And you and you are not having same same thing with them. Yeah. And also the consciousness that this is our land, Africa. And somebody have come and taken it. Yes, I. How we defended it inspired everybody because we said, "This land is ours, and nobody can touch at us." <laughs> <laughs> because uh, that was the, that was the yes, Bible I. of 1940s. Yes, yeah? I. 
and also Jomo Kenyatta when you, he started he wrote a book called Facing Mount Kenya yeah man. Be- before he he went to uh, to 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 Nini to 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 stay in uh, London yeah. he had written a summary of the uh, African roots and culture the Gekoyo people and uh, he said how we were blessed by this land by Mwenenyaga and he said himself Mwenenyaga he told our first father that this is our land and nobody can take it away from us yeah, so when the colonialists came it was the vibe you have to recognize that i am the kenyan i am the the black man yes sir and also the uh, Mau Mau recognized the whole africa people because they were communicating with people in uganda kimadi was communicating with people in south africa you see mandela he knew that he could not stay in robben island for 27 years if kimadi yeah. if kimadi was alive So yes, he came sir. here even to ask where is Kemadi what happened <laughs> but Moi told him that uh, Kemadi's place is very far away he asked is it far from uh, I'm I've come from from South Africa to here <laughs> is it far now that I'm in Kenya how far, how, far how big can, is Kenya that yeah. I am far still yeah man well in Kenya yes sir they, they want to hide the whole story the government of Kenya don't like to say about this this story but yeah, man. I tell you the truth of the matter is the foundation of this thing called Kenya yes. the land called Kenya is the mau mau who took anything that they could take around and defend the nation even women went to the forest yes, i have yes, one sir. queen in nyeri i was talking to her today she's called field marshal modoni wow kerema she still have the dreadlocks is the field marshal who was walking hand in hand with dedan kemadi okay and this inspired jamaica uh, they saw the pictures of the mau mau and the movement and you remember mr howell Yes sir. Howell passed through this uh, this African continent and he who, he was able to take all the lyrics from the the, the 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 songs that we were singing for liberation and he translated the Mau Mau songs and he gave Kina Bob Marley that's, that's those are the songs that are capturing people in the Bob Marley songs. Yeah man. It's the Mau Mau songs. So you didn't know about that but now you know and we're talking to Ras Mau Mau and of course he has a cutest little youth a bit shy but he's here Kimathi himself upcoming warrior and yeah man we have a lot of stories to tell you about the connection of Mao Mao and Rastafari and also I'm going to be asking Ras Mao Mao how as uh, you know as somebody who's followed the Mao Mao movement and is um proud of the movement how does he fit this into Rastafari and uh the unity between all the mansions because you are the chairman so we're going to be talking about that in a bit so yeah man we are stirring it up right here and yeah man we're discussing here on stir it up by the way um we've been having Ras Mau Mau and the youth over here Kimathi with us talking about importance and the co- actually connection off Mau Mau on the Rastafari but it's also that time where we say wagwan so if you have any questions for us Mau Mau you can give us a call on 0719012700 so yes Ras Mau Mau uh, yes. I want to talk to you more about now your liberty your spirituality um have you combined things from the Mau Mau practices and with Rastafari or how do you do it you know what We are blessed to be born in Africa. Yeah man. I've never been taken away to captivity. True. Only the captivity tried to came to come in Africa. <laughs> yes sir. By the colonialists. Yes sir. So, I have the connection between I and I, between, uh, between me and my roots. I have connection live and direct to the roots. Very important. Like yes. Like from the beginning of creation. I've never been disconnected from from Africa. <laughs> yeah, I have man. a higher vibe of being at home. Yes sir. So uh, in the consciousness of Rastafari when it come to me uh, from the root of Mau Mau I add on top because Rastafari is is universal again because it is consciousness and uh, uh, combination of vibes from all over the corners of the world that are positive to the liberation of the people yeah man so owing to that fact I and I is based on the roots my liberty is rootical and then i have the consciousness of rastafari that's why i say i am the mau mau order of rastafari yes sir and me love it because um <laughs> that's one thing that i'm always very super proud of yeah. um it's something not many people are proud of but i am like that's why i call myself the roots daughter because I'm born here, raised yeah. here. Me no want to go nowhere, Yani. Yeah. I'm just here. I want to liberate my people through message, through music. And so yes, I, you know, um we are lucky as you said, we are connected to our traditional roots and our practices yeah. here in Africa. So when we bring Rastafari, it is an addition onto already our because we cannot forget, you know, our traditions as well. 
And so I, I think that is also something. When I go to Shashamani, to the HQ, I'm always standing very proud because I'm like, you know, Same. me, an African daughter, me never went anywhere. And I'm yeah. here to represent, you know, for, for Kenya when I go to Shash. And yes, I'm a youth. Youth man, ukofiti. Yeah. Okay, so we talk about a message for the other uh, youths who are dogo ali on attack a rasta or tawambia nini. Eh, wanye, eh, wuwa, eh. Mumesikia wewe, sheriff. Anza na uyu. Unaona uyu? Uyu tunataka to convert sasa hivi. Aanzisha hata 100 kwanza. Moja tu. Yes, I. And um uh, what else unaweza kuambia? Kuna kitu yote unataka kutu teach leo ama kutuambia? Hapana mimi nataka tu kuwasalimia wazazi, mzazi wangu. Eh eh. Sister yangu na brothers. Okay. Yeah. All right. Alafu kesho ni special day sana Kimathi Day, si ndio? Yeah. Mnaenda ku celebrate wapi siku? Nyeri. Mnaenda Nyeri. Yeah. All right. So for Kimathi Day, what's going on tomorrow? What does the celebration look like? Yeah, we are, we have been I'm been an activist in Nairobi yes, eh? to make sure that things that are, have gone wrong can come right. Yeah, man. So I found that the Mau Mau are not recognized. Yeah, man. And so we decided uh, to make a Kimathi movement during the 90s and we have been going to where they shot Kimadi and he fall down and mm. and his uh, his blood spilled on the soil it drew a, a, a star of david there wow and another place where he was made that marshalas to, to carry him mm -hmm. there's a, a map of africa cutting in the in the majani zile zanyayo tizo wow it cannot grow anything from the white man <laughs> vibe <laughs> So Kemadi, yes, uh, the Kemadi we are talking about is the is a spiritual one because the Kemadi never did anything without prayer. Yes, sir. He went forward in prayer, and he took people in prayer, and he went to Mount Kenya to ask for for this war to happen because we had to chase the white man out. So there we are going to celebrate. There is a monument that uh, have been made by the government for the first time there. Yes, sir. A long time in the 90s we were being when i went there we planted mogumo tree and it was uprooted and we were taken to uh, uh, police cells wow. every year i was going to sell <laughs> on february 18 <laughs> from 1998 wow, i knew i was going to sell a planted tree and then they go to sell uh, go to the and cell. how many years was that you just did it over and over again yeah i was still a parent yeah uh, i was doing all <laughs> things uh, together wait um, uh, 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 rasta yes sir. so uluko na malza kusha malza ku plant tree una mko na police station na bien nimekuja hapana wana tutafuta tusiende tunafika bila uh, wakujua yes. tukitoka hapo tuna, tuna meeting tumeita nyeri yote imefunga kazi tao tuna, tunaita meeting ya kemadi because you go to valentine and christmas why don't you come on <laughs> kemadi day yes, where your kaki suit and you come out with your boot to ongele revolution Fire. because the time yes, for revolution is now we have the people to make a change in our life and in, in our history yeah man because when things are wrong the eye that sees the wrong is the one that can make it right. Yes, yeah. sir. So I went there for many times. In 2002, Kibaki waka recognize Mau Mau. Okay. Na waka tuambia hapo watuta haishiko tena. <laughs> PC na DC na DO na, na machifu wato wakuja waka niambia uta haishiko. But what I love about that is mm. the perseverance. That is just the spirit of Rasta. Yeah. When you believe in something and you know Babylon is going to come for you. But yeah. you still go I and see. go and go yes. with no fear. And that's the kind of spirit we want the next generation to have. To mm. stand up to believe in their culture. Because we recently talked last week um, about with Sheriff about how the late fo former president's burial there was a big lack of cultural practice mm. it was mostly about the state and mostly and about the british style and the british marching uh, marching and wearing uh. these red clothes and ah. i mean what do you have to say about that because honestly we are still african as you said even as a rastaman it comes your culture will come first because you are not uprooted from it no. you are proud of your culture then mix it with the liberty of rastafari so what do you think about that? The ceremonies that we, we have, the ceremonies that we we always take. Even when we go to church, we are baptized by water. Yeah. All these are vibes that were not there here, because a child is born, and uh, when she's uh, he or she is being given a name, yeah, that man. is the baptism, because the father has already known the vibes. Yes, sir. And so he says, this one is Kemadi. Yeah, man. This one is General Cavote. This one is another. That vibe 
comes from the child himself or yes himself. So the, the energy we, the spirit we, uh, yes. we used to name our children in three years you to see, give them i was talking about that this. is the baptism we used to have and this and is a goat was slaughtered you see now. you get me yeah and there the are african naming ceremonies and, and there like yeah. the, that goat you get a clothing yeah man from it the leather the leather nini. the coat the yeah, leather, leather overcoat overcoat yeah. yeah for cold and all this so we may spend your vibes on my fanya although I wakati niliona hizo vibes za uh, za moi na Kenyatta I, I, I recognize that Kemathi is still in prison buried with shackles and yet we say we are free so we should have a decent burial for Kemathi na culture iwe kwe mbele because he was he was defending the culture of Kenya culture ya farmers culture ya nini and I have a song for that okay if you're just joining us You've missed a whole lot of teachings. We're talking to Ras Mao Mao and of course his little youth man Kimathi over here as well. A little bit shy but super cute in his little turban. Makes me want to have like 10 more Rasta youths, you don't know. <laughs> and I can see the phones um, coming through. I'm sure people want to speak to you Rasta. Yes. Sir. Um give me a moment. Sheriff, do you have anything you want to talk to Ras about? Yes, of course. Um I see if if this uh a few books here and and some pictures have been looking at um that have been showing to us um like this book Dead and Speaks the Kimathi speaks yeah. <laughs> by Ki, by Maina Wakinyati yeah. some of these books uh, I don't think they are, are they found in the regular bookshops no but they are found in the Mau Mau bases Mau Mau bases yeah and the liberation bases in yes. Kenya yeah. <laughs> but what 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 if some of us need to find some of this book yeah. to read about? We connect with I and I. Connect with Ras Mao yeah. We brought him here for you. <laughs> yes, sir. I. I I. Yes, get I. the books. Many they are called the untold one stories. One. Yes. Yeah, man. Ras Kinyaroy. Yes, sir. One Guang Mzizi. What Guang Rasta? How is all Karatina massive? I'm feeling all right, feeling good. Okay. Um, you want to speak to Ras Mao I want to speak to Ras Mao Yes, sir. Here we are. Fire. Hi, Rasmal Mal. It's a Fire. <laughs> yeah, fire, fire. Hi. Good morning, man. Yes, I. Yes, I. You have a I'm question? Yes, I. Yes. I, 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 I just to big him up. Okay, you just okay. wanted to big him up, okay? Yeah, and then. Yes, I. Have, I have one say about uh, my mom. Yes, I. You know, it, there's something that hurts my heart so much. Yeah, man. To see that the tree, the fruits of the tree that was planted and watered by blood, mm-hmm. is being enjoyed by the children of the home yeah. Yes, sir. And the people who never fought for freedom. Yes, sir. While the while the little little mau mau petras are dying in poverty and anguish in poverty. That's true, and it's a big shame, and it's a shame. It's a big, big yeah. shame for me. It's just a big, big shame. Yeah. We like sana ambapo na umia wengine hata wana wamegojeka waedi wengine bado wako na matigari ya bullet in their body. Hati. <laughs> I know that. I know. Oh, John no Rasta. That's, true, Rasta. That's, That's why we need Rasta. to come together. So the government they got to do something. The government got to do something about this thing. Yes, but, Rasta, but give it thanks. It needs activism. Kenya is no is something where you pressure things. Yeah. Don't wait for Silver Prada to bring anything around. You have to pressure. pressure you have to diamond. go out there. Pressure yes, make diamond. Sir. Yes, Rasta. To, to legalize Mau Mau, especially, we had to pressure the government for over 20 years. So, you see, revolution time. Yeah. Yes, I missed the culture. Well, yeah. Wagwan. How are you today? I'm very fine. Okay, you want to lodge up Ras Mau Mau? Yeah, I want to ask one question. Yeah, man, ask away. Hey, hey, Mau Mau. Hey, Mambo. Apopua. Sema sama sema sama something. Niko nataka kusema aje. Eh. Yeah. Nataka ufunze watu about Rasta Fara. Eh. Uh-huh. No, many people they don't know what the meaning of Rasta Fara I mean, you know. Okay. Yeah man. That's when why he, when unajua yeah. sasa. Mm. Wala unajua Rasta Fara, unajua wengi wanachukulia ngati Rasta Fara they are not good people. Yeah. Rastafari, they smoke ganja, they steal, but they don't know what the meaning of Rastafari, you know. True, true. Mr. Culture, that's a nice, nice question. That's a good question. I mean, we, this, we are tackling this for all time because yeah, we want to make things straight. Even the Mau Mau and Rasta is something that people don't know. We are demystifying this. Yes, I. So Rastafari is a man of love. 
Rastafari is a man of consciousness and even higher spirit because we are not religious we are spiritual yeah man that's why we now go to the pcas upag na katholiko those, those came and found us spiritual already yes yeah, seen so seen. we need to go higher than wire in spirituality so that we can circle down the material world to bow down to us yeah man seen seen yes, and uh, you were telling me about the kimathi dossier mm-hmm. um what was going on with it The Kimathi Dozier came uh, some time back uh, when they put the monument there at uh, Freedom Corner at mm-hmm. Uhuru Park. Yeah, man. And we were expecting them to bring the whole story that they took away. You know, they they they, they stole my archive. The Kimathi archive in Nandara Forest. Yeah, man. Was stolen through the by 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 uh, some of um, uh, the bootly kamau mau tan mm. tan courts <laughs> they bo- they yeah, they brought they brought the, the the colonialists to the to the archive where they took all the books oh, ja. the notebooks that uh, had songs and, and this their is our the history problem. This that's is why problem. in school you don't have any history yes i because they took our history they took away and they there were about 12 sacks of of documents wow hidden and preserved for our youth now it cannot be found in school neither in university but the british have it when they brought it they already plucked off the main issues they don't want us uh, see us know the truth about the mau 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 is the owner of the land of kenya where we should give them enough respect more than all the presidents you know yes I because be- the president are presiding officers of the queen elizabeth we we we, we, we work for our children yes I for posterity kemadi would work for posterity he died for us yes But I the people other people who are enjoying in kenya they people die for them <laughs> you know jesus of Jano, our day, uh, I, I, i sometimes we ask people how can jesus How can you die for Jesus if it was the vibe of a uh, savior? The savior dies for the people, not the people to to die for for the Aima. Fire! <laughs> Fire! Yeah man, you're listening to Season Circle with Aina Zizi, the original Roots daughter alongside musical sheriff Bex officer and today we're joined and very honored to have Ras Mau Mau here with us speaking about the connection of Rastafari and Mau Mau and also speaking about freedom fighter dead and kimathi because it's kimathi's um day tomorrow celebration happening in yeri now talking about dead and kimathi when they did the unveiling of the monument of dead and kimathi here on uh, uh on kimathi street you were there even the one at uh, uru park even the one at uru park yeah. yeah man and when you were there you sang a song yeah at the kimathi day i was called in by the family yes i kimathi because they recognize me because i've been agitating them to come to Nairobi because they thought Kemadi was their father only mm. but we told them Kemadi is bigger than that they should come out and we vibe together and we bring this uh, vibe of Kemadi higher yeah man so they, they they recognized me and they called me for us for the song because at the national archive they wanted somebody to sing the song of Kemadi in Kiswahili without changing the tune okay. without changing the vibe and the meaning So I was the one who was interviewed and they say they have the one to treat seen 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 All right and um this song the Kimadi song I want you to probably sing it for us um you told me there's a Kikuyu version there's a Swahili version yeah. um I want you to sing it for us and of course we'll talk after you sing it for us you can tell us a little bit about this song So here we are Vibes Nation we have Rasmau Mau right here on seas and circle and yeman is about to sing for us the song kimadi tomorrow is kimadi day so yeman take a listen yes rasmau mau yes this is the song of kimadi when he went up to the mountain to ask for strength and courage to defeat the colonial regime it sings it was a prayer in the uh, in fact redia kimadi we to abatire Kere mai nyare wiki nya hoire hi nyana o mereru wako hota nya keru to korira todo to ria doiro na to tira nya keru na to tira kera di mo kao Gai wi tware bere na manyere raiko besha o mereru irani danyere ire ne sharuo nani genesha ke ha 
Nage kuna we adi ne kya to kore ra todo to ria dwairo na to tira nya kero na to tira kera di mo kya o gai witare bere na mwa nyere raiko becha o mereru Taira ni da nyere ire ne sia ruo ni gene sia ke ha nage ko na mai dori si ku ke ma di ali po panda mli ma pe ke ya ke ali yomba nguvu na uvumi livu Zakushinda mkolo ni ndicho tunalia kuwa tuwe usi na kuwa siwe upe ila siyo wa baraka zao Mungu wetu yumbele na mkinywe ya kwenye hiki kikombe Nili chonyele ya mwenyewe ni kikombe cha shida nyingi macho zikifona uhuru e tunalia kuwa tuwe usi black man na kuwa siwe upe muzungu ila siyo wa baraka zao Mungu wetu yumbele. Yes sir. Bye. One people, one message, one vibe. Vibes Radio. And we have uh, been talking about the connection of Mau Mau and Rastafari. And yes, I, we, we got to listen to you singing us um, Kimathi's song, which was super amazing, Rasta. Give thanks. And um, now we want to talk about tomorrow, Kimathi Day. Yeah. So tell us, what is the program? Tomorrow at uh, Karunaine Nyeri, there is a vibe there where we are going to, there is an unveiling of a monument in Nyeri. Yes, I. And uh, there where we used to go and get arrested. <laughs> now it's, it's a government quarter and uh, they gave us, a, they cut the, the thing called now T-Zone. Yes, I. And now they gave Kemadi a plot there where they can do the monument and a library. So... Uh, big up one Jogo Kemadi, the daughter of Kemadi, who is uh, currently t- telling me what the government is doing. Okay. She's uh, on the government side. And uh, tomorrow we are all the soldiers will go there. Kemadi youths, Kemadi elders, Kemadi Mauma, all the Mau Maus will go there. Yeah, man. And we are hoping the president will come to open up the monument. To open yes. the monument. And that's what we are, I've got as a, as a niche. Yeah? Okay. And uh, we'll sing songs there. And uh, people will talk with the government and also will uh, highlight the plight that Kemadi is still in jail. Yes, I. We want Kemadi to be buried heroically. And we, he's, the, he's the big, he's the, he's, the, he's the icon that stands for the whole of liberation. Yes, So sir. he needs to, give, to be accorded a very special yeah, respect man. burial. An honorable burial, you yes. You don't need him in Kamete, in chains. No. That's why Kenya is in, still in chains. Yeah. to free Kemadi and free Kenya. Heavy reasoning that is, Rasta. So, yeah, man, um, you know, also, where can anyone find you if they want to reason with you, um, you know, if they want to, to support the movement as well, you know, um, the Rastafari Society? Um, what, how do we link you? The Rastafari Society right now is in all the big houses mm-hmm. called the Mau Mau Houses in Zingaro and uh, Africa Unite. Zingaro is in Madare North. 29.30. Okay. And uh, Africa Unite is in, in uh, Moja 3. Where is that I, where I came? Yeah, where you came. With my youth man? Yeah, we have a okay. big Mogumo tree in respect for Kemadi. <laughs> yes, I, I saw it. And a Dingira there, a cultural Dingira. Yeah, yeah man. in the deep roots there. Yes, I. Tulikunwa uji uko sheriff ulimi. Uji ingine ani watoi, yeah, awakosagi yo uji, yes? Uji na itua 10 hubs at one. Okay. All kind of cereals, yeah? Yeah. Put them together, it becomes a black uji, a bluish green black, you know? Blessed. Bless you. Unapenda yo uji? 
<laughs> All the youths walikuwa me line up hapo vibaya sana for that OG. Also you can see us at Selassie Foundation where my 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 other counterparts are there. Yes. Selassie Foundation we have Japila and Lojuru. Lojuru yes. is my deputy. Okay. And uh Japila is the secretary of uh, yeah, Africa man. United. Yes. Sir. And when we go to the Bobo house, we have uh, Bobo Jacob, the leader of there, uh, the Bobo house, we have the church at Kayole. Yes, sir. We can big up there. We have the headquarter of uh, 12, tribes. 12 tribes. We have uh, Kina Jawela and uh, yeah, other, other youth there. Yeah, yeah, they are doing good. And all these are Rastafari houses. And I love that because mm. I've seen in many areas where the houses or the mansions are not getting on here. Yeah? But in Kenya, I really love the unity. And I saw it two years ago in Shashamani also starting the unity because we had a big celebration where all houses came together. Um, you know, to show respect for the coronation. So that was amazing. And I love what you guys are doing as well. want to say, on behalf of all the other, uh, you know, Rasta out there, you know, we give thanks for all the works that you're doing for Rastafari, for Kenya, you know, for liberating the people's consciousness and mind. So we really give thanks. And we're really honored to have you today. And if you have anything else you want to tell the people, uh, you can say it now, Rasta. Yes, I am. Uh, and uh, I would like to, to big up on my family because they have uh, kept with me in all times when I'm in jail, when I'm in <laughs> activism. Yeah, man. I have Mama Africa Ngong okay. called Nyawera. Okay. And uh, Sela, uh, my youth Selassie are there. Yes, I. And Africa are there. And uh, uh, we have uh, one boy. Okay. And uh, one zero. And uh, Shiko, Amani Shiko. The yeah, smallest man. one. There. Oh, Amani Shiko, yeah. beautiful name. Yes, I. <laughs> and uh, big up also uh, the Kinango family. You know, I have, I have, I have, I have two debes. Eh? Okay. I have the Mama Africa Kinango, <laughs> where there is uh, Ras Karori, Mosiah Gave. Yes, I. Uh, Ras Mainge, King David. Yes, I. Uh, General Cavote and uh, Steve Biko. Okay. And uh, all the family. Africa is there and Malkia. Yeah. Malkia Wairimo, all the, these are our Wairimos. Okay. One is Africa. She was the one who was uh, we went to court with uh, in that For case. The, uh, yeah, because she also had another school. She went and she could not get uh, in. Okay. So she repeated and she went this year. Thank God she went to she went to another school, the uh, Jonjo High School. That's a national school. Ali Chop Vizuri. So that's nice. I big up. I big up all the family. Yeah, man. I big up also. The Kemadi movement, Kina George Kagono in mm -hmm. Nyeri, Wanjiro Andoyo in Kirinyaga, and Kemadi Duo in Nakuru. Those are generals. Yes, I big up all they generals. They have been doing Salute. a lot in, uh, with me. They have been alongside I and I for great 90s. Yeah, man. And we big up also Zingaro Percussion, yes, where we I. have been doing bingi all the time. Ras Moha, Ras Moas, Ras Benjade, uh, Ras Amanya, all them people around there, 29, 30. Big up all Madrid people there. Yeah, man. And also, uh, we have a uh, yes, I we have all the people of Masai Market that have uh, been running there, and uh, big up them, and they tell them are still fighting for our rights, and we want to get a permanent place there. You know, yes, I we are praying and hoping that the Masai Market will be up full and right. You know, okay, for for businesses of art and craft. Yeah, man. We sure. really give thanks. Really give thanks. Musical Sheriff, really quick, what do you have to say to the people? Yes, of course, tomorrow is going to be a spotlight. Of course, we're going to be featuring another great artist. And so, of course, if you know, if you want to hit me up on socials as Musical Sheriff on Instagram and Twitter, and it's my birthday week, so keep it here tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be hearing what it's all about, all right? Give thanks. Yes, I. And from I, the original Roots Daughter, just want to say, you know, big up to everybody who tuned in. As you heard, we're going to be back again tomorrow, same time. Tune in in the morning for Morning Vibes with Kwambox and Bunde. Afternoon, Adrenaline with Chiki and Heno. And before you know it, Sheriff and I will be back again doing a major, major spotlight. Wanna say Rastafari bless. Kimathi, big up on yourself na respect asante kwa kukuja leo. Okay? Rastafari. And yeah, man, thank you so much again, Ras Mao Mao. We're looking forward to having you again. Just want to say blessed and safe travels tomorrow. And tell everybody that we big them up right here from Vibes Radio. And of course, any messages they can just send we through so we can feel the vibes here. And yeah, man, if you want to follow me at Nazizi Hirji Instagram, Twitter, Nazizi Capital Letters on Facebook. And I want you to always, always remember that. Mana Lion. No cat. Lion Station. Lion. The number one reggae radio station on air, online, online. everywhere, worldwide.